623 in a hospital in the upstate will be better able to serve you in case of an emergency thanks to some upgrades. Let's check in now with 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She's live in Greenville at Bon Secours St. Francis downtown where everything is spick and span. It's clean. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally shining. They are literally shining. Yeah, we've got lights on, the glass is clean. Really exciting too. You know, if you're going to be a patient in an emergency department, you want to have one that is functioning at its highest capacity, fast, get you in, get you out in a safe and healthy way. Really, really exciting. But there are some times when you don't necessarily have to come to such a fabulous place as this new facility downtown. You can go to an urgent care, and that's something that may speed up your visit. It may free up the emergency department for those that really need Need it. Those heart attack cases, those traumas. Dr. Crumpler with us this morning, and you're over that urgent care sector of the Bonds Corps family. That medical director means you know your stuff. You know when we need to go to urgent care and when the emergency department. So tell me, maybe ballpark. What do I do if I have certain you know needs or maybe chest pains? One of them sure. to not mess around with. Sure. So I think the first thing to consider is what time of day it, or night it is. Good. Um, so the urgent cares are open during the daytime hours mm -hmm. and. Uh, the emergency department is open 24 hours a day. So, obviously, if it's something outside of the urgent care hours in the nighttime and you feel like you can't wait till the morning, the emergency department is definitely the place that you should go. What type of pain, what type of symptoms would you have if it was that time of night and you need to know whether or not to come here? Sure. So, uh, the urgent care takes care of more of the, the simple things. So, minor cuts and, and bruises, you twist your ankle, you have a cough or, or congestion or runny nose. Um, if you have something more serious, like you have severe abdominal pain or chest pain or severe shortness of breath or anything like that, um, typically you probably want to start with the emergency department. Definitely. And then you're going to be asked several questions, right? Maybe what to expect when you're going to an urgent care versus the emergency department. With an urgent care, they're still going to ask you some pretty thorough questions. Sure. Right? Absolutely. So um, all you have to do is, is show up and, um, and we'll, we'll take care of you at, at either place, whichever place is, is you know better I mean, and if, if you don't know we can always direct you to the correct place that is helpful you guys often do know and lastly is it helpful to know maybe in reference to where you live where the closest urgent care or emergency department is absolutely yeah you always want to know where your closest closest hospital is and also um, your closest uh, urgent care or clinic uh, for your for your health care needs very good don't rush this new emergency department here downtown campus this opens on november 30th so that will be 8 a.m and you can come on down here but for now go to the normal across the building emergency department that's still set up with those big red signs guys more and a grand opening later today back to you mysterious thing time